Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 15th, 2024. Well, I hope everyone had a great weekend. Obviously, we had a major news weekend with uh, lots of concern and worry in the country, but boy, we are not having that concern or worry now in the market. Uh, futures are sharply higher this morning. We may want to be watching for a potential whipsaw, but very sharply higher this morning. Let's start off with taking a look at what's happened overnight. Asian markets were mixed last night, and actually they um, improved right right before the close improved a little bit coming back up where we saw uh, china miss on its gdp number again adding more pressure to um, administration over there in china as we continue to suffer in um, then in that region of the world hong kong had a rough day Hong Kong being the um, a very tech heavy sector, um, down 277 points or 1.52%. The Nikkei fell over a thousand points or 2.45%. Um, so while um, Australian uh, markets managed to push back up 0.73%, uh, South Korea just slightly higher at the close. Let's take a look at European markets this morning. Now, European markets are down across the board this morning. Um, they they seem to be in reaction to the uh, Trump assassination attempt, but down across the board. And, of course, um, they have been trying to push up here um, since I've been up this morning, trying to push just a little bit higher. Now, when we look at um, U.S. markets, we are surging higher here this morning. Uh, Dow futures right now up 219 points, um, with the NASDAQ futures up um, 98 points. Again, just a huge surge to the upside, seemingly in a celebration of the Trump survival of the assassination attempt. Um, let's take a look at what we have going on here in other areas of the market. If we take a look at oil this morning, oil is lower. If we take a look at um, XLE though, however, those oil stocks seem to be moving just a little bit higher here in the pre-market as oil futures are only down eight cents. Brent is down five cents and we've got natural gas being down um, a little over well, about five and a half cents here, uh, giving up that uh, rally on Friday. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. If we take a look at um, uh, precious metals, well, we've got precious metals looking lower here this morning. GLD um, right at this moment down $3.30 an ounce. Silver is down this morning. Copper, platinum, and palladium all lower here this morning. So still trying to absorb some of these um, currency moves uh, happening in the market. And one of the reasons as well is we have bonds just a little bit higher here this morning. Two-year bonds are at 4.45. The 10-year bonds are 4.22. And the 30-year bonds at 4.45. So kind of keep an eye on that. That's interesting. The twos and the thirties are now priced the same. Keep an eye on that. Could be some interesting fluctuations here um, in the market. And we see um, UUP pretty flat here this morning so far. So watch that carefully. And if we take a look at cryptos this morning, cryptos are flying high. Oh my goodness. Bitcoin up $2,657 a coin at this second, continuing to show lots of bullishness, mostly green across the board in those cryptos this morning. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video.
Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain a little information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Remember, we want to shake off that bias. We want to look at these charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be. Well, first off, when we take a look at the diamonds, the only thing you can see here is bullishness. Big zooming move on Friday, ended up uh, pulling back, but we closed just barely as a new record high on Friday. And this morning being up over 200 points and zooming this morning, looks like we're gonna open at a new record high. But I have to tell you from experience, one of the things you really wanna watch carefully for in a big market gap up, like this watch for the potential of a whipsaw meaning that um, the opening print can be sometimes the highest number of the day and then we reverse and pull back uh, from there I'm not saying that's going to occur just saying watch carefully for that but with that said if the bulls continue to find inspiration here today and every reason I believe they could with some big bank reports and things coming today that we could continue to push on higher and see blue skies up here with new record highs. If the bears were to come into play, well, I would say a pullback here to test the upper side of that candle would not be out of the question. And if that were not to hold a pushback here to retest some price support in the chart would not be out of the question now breaking further than that that would be some big point moves and would certainly raise some concern but as we come back here we'd just be looking at this upside trend here for that opportunity to hold the support if we take a look at our spy there's nothing in that spy chart that's bearish um, obviously we had that bearish engulfing but we couldn't follow through to the downside we ended up with an inside day and this morning we're trying to gap away to new record highs at the open so if the bulls continue to find that inspiration There is nothing but blue sky above here in um, the spy. And if the bears were to find that inspiration, well, pushing back into here, we might see a test of that a little um, support area right there. Beyond that point, there might be a little bit of fear if we were to break that coming back down to test this area of support and potentially upside trend so watch that closely what we might be seeing is maybe just a little consolidating move out here that could move us into that trend and if we just chopped around in there that would actually be a rather healthy thing for the market to do uh, qqq a little bit more trouble here on qqq with that ugly Thursday um, dark candle there um, we did have a nice bounce here so we didn't get that follow through to the downside and you'll notice we're trying to gap up here this morning so keep a close eye on that if we um, were to run into a little bit of price resistance here um, if the bulls um, follow through to the upside, keep an eye on that area and right here as we push on higher. Beyond that point, um, blue sky above, if we can find that bullish move here in the market. Now, if the bears have something to say today, certainly wouldn't be out of the question to see a retest of those lows right there and if that were to falter and break well maybe a push back down in here a good solid test of that upside trend here in the qqq could be a possibility and i think one of the things we might be seeing is uh, well i don't think we might i think we're seeing it um, is we're seeing a little bit of a deleverage um, moving away from the huge tech-centric market that we have seen and maybe spreading out into more areas of the market with small caps 
being a pretty large focus. When, when I say that, let's take a look at the Russell IWM, another gap away here this morning, huge gaps left behind here on IWM. Now that does bother me, three big gaps in a row and continue to try and run. Remember if um, this continues, we're gonna be looking at some of these resistance levels up here in the chart to see what is going to restrict us. You can see there's quite a little bit of congestion right in there on that chart. And if we can get up into that area, then I'd be watching for a little bit of a pullback. If the bulls find that inspiration, continue to push up in here. Um, obviously not blue skies above, a lot of congestion up there, but if the bears were to find inspiration, well, you could certainly see that possibility of pulling back to fill some of these gaps. If we start failing down progressively through here, we could see some really painful pullbacks in um, IWM if those bears find any inspiration here in the market. So watch that closely. Now let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX continued to fall here on uh, Friday pulling back so we still can't get out of this little choppy range here in the chart and i believe one of the possible reasons is because market breadth remains quite low even though we've seen enjoyed a couple of days of good increase there um still moving in that downtrend still no worries there at all um if the bears were to find inspiration maybe a her could pop above that could be possible but at the moment here bulls are definitely in control and they seem to have zero fear in this market if we take a look at t2122 now our t2122 the ind indicator remember is the new high new low ratio indicator and what we're seeing in this big gap up this morning we are already pegged up here at 96 uh, 96 34 97 remember this can't go above 100 um, i'm guessing with this big gap up if this holds this morning we're likely to see 100 here in uh, this move as we celebrate and that gives me that reason to believe to watch for a potential whipsaw here this morning so not much upside potential here in um, the chart but if the bears find that inspiration we have certainly opened up a very big opportunity for the bears to react lower so again kind of celebrating here this morning but watch carefully for that potential whipsaw if we take a look at our t2108 t2108 putting in this little hockey stick here in the air and as we just surged in two days remember just two days ago we were down here in the low 30s in t2108 now we have surged in two days up here 61 percent of the stocks above their 40-day moving average so once again we're kind of stretching out here and this big gap up this morning stretching really hard so don't be too surprised if we get a little bit of a pullback here um, in the market after we finish this uh, pre-market celebration maybe we come back and test some support to some areas in here but if the bulls can continue to push there's every reason to believe we can start reaching up into this area but the more we stretch, the harder the reversal can oftentimes be. So be prepared for that. Um, our T2107, T2107 also screaming to the upside here in the last two days. This was down here below 50%. Now we've got 59% of the stocks almost 60 percent of the stocks above their 200 day moving average very big change here so watch this carefully as well you can see that little bit of a bend up here that little hockey stick in the air often sometimes means that we could get that reversal coming at any time so watch that closely and then t2101 had that big improvement in breadth over two days it'll be interesting to see how we handle this today um, in this move, um, particularly remember, we're still in the blackout period and corporate buybacks are not happening in here. So watch that carefully. If this really continues to zoom up, 
again, watch, we, we go too far too fast in that celebration and we often get a whipsaw. So watch carefully for that possibility, not that it will occur. Then let's take a look um, at some stocks that could be setting up. Um, excuse me, before we do that, let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar, well, we've got um, not a heavy day, but we do have some notable things here this morning that we'll want to be paying attention to. First off, we've got Empire State Manufacturing coming in here. We'll want to keep an eye on that this morning. Now, Empire State has been extremely weak, and consensus is suggesting it's going to remain weak at a uh, negative six. Manufacturing um, is something though that we have decided we don't need here in the United States apparently because we're only a tech country at the moment. So um, watch that closely here. We've got a couple of short-term bond auctions. You'll want to keep in mind Jerome Powell will be speaking today and then we have daily today. As we move throughout the week, we've got some retail sales, import, export prices, business inventories, housing market index coming in there on Tuesday, some more Fed speak. Wednesday, our normal mortgage applications, um, housing starts and permits, Fed speak, industrial production, Atlanta Fed business inflation expectations. We've got um, a petroleum status number coming in there on Wednesday, 20 year bond auction and a beige book. Sliding into Thursday, we're going to get those jobless claims in the Philly Fed. We've got leading indicators coming in here. Um, and then uh, natural gas and later on down in here, treasury statement, Fed balance sheet, and several Fed speakers. And on Friday, Fed speakers and a Baker Hughes rig count. So probably um, if I were to pick out the most notable thing for the week where we should be watching carefully for what might be this one here. We've been seeing that weakening of the consumer. Um, this could have um, an impact on the market if those numbers were to be um, missed, but we'll, we'll take a look at that tomorrow morning. Let's take a peek at our um, earnings calendar here for today. In our earnings calendar, we've got a couple of notables here to be paying attention to. Um, First off, we've got uh, BlackRock that will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. It's already zooming in the pre-market like everything is. I don't know that it's reported, but keep an eye on that. We're pushing back up here for those all-time high potential break breakout on BlackRock. And then we've got Goldman. Uh, reporting here this morning. It is also trying to break higher here. And again, I don't think it's reported yet this morning. So keep an eye on that. It's just that enthusiasm here in the market. If we take a look at this afternoon, we've got um, CF, CFB will be reporting this afternoon. We've got um, FBK that will be reporting and SFBS that will be reporting as potential notables here for after the bell. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or, or helpful, if you could do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. I appreciate it. And also a big shout out to everyone who uh, continues to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link just below the title of the video. And for those folks that share these videos out on your social media feed, that helps a lot as well. So thank you very much for your very uh, kind support of the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to be doing your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market. Make sure you're following your trading rules and your trading guidelines. You should never, ever blindly follow anyone else's 
trade ideas. Let's take a look um, at a couple of things here that I think could be very interesting. Take a look at um, TLT. TLT is breaking lower here this morning on those rising bonds. But I would watch this carefully. There was some notes out by Bank of America this weekend suggesting that um, their clients need to be looking at uh, bonds as a hedge to the market. So keep an eye on this. Um, could be interesting. You know, I am holding a longer term position here on TLT and um, I will be adding to it if I can get a nice bullish pattern coming into play on this. A hold in this area would be one of those potential opportunities. So keep an eye on TLT. We'll also want to be keeping an eye on the dollar. If the dollar continues to weaken, then what we would be looking for is those commodity prices to rally. And we have seen some opportunity there here just recently, but gold, gold still um, you know pulling back a little bit this morning but watch this carefully in here on GLD um, we're getting this nice little resting pattern in here this nice little consolidating move look for that opportunity if those bulls find that inspiration here on gold that we could continue this move to push on up and maybe even break to new all-time highs here in gold. Watch that carefully. Silver might also be something to watch. Now, it's had a little bit more volatility pulling back, but it's still resting in this support area of the chart. Watch that closely. Besides that, let's take a look at a little bit of steel. Um, CLF, now CLF getting quite the volatility in the pre-market today, but let's watch this carefully. Nice little rally up, any rest back. Look for that opportunity for that to move on up if that dollar weakens. Keep an eye on CLF. You might want to take a look at U.S. Steel as well. U.S. Steel breaking above this um, resistance area in the chart, trying to hold in here, looking pretty darn good. It will be testing that 200-day moving average, but keep a close eye on that if this can continue to show that bullishness to the upside. Um, some of the other ones not moving quite so well yet. Um, MT just breaking its downtrend here. Nice surge to the upside, but any rest or pullback in here now would set up that higher low and that next opportunity to the upside. You notice what I just drew there is a possible inverted head and shoulders. So keep an eye on some of those steel stocks. You might also want to be keeping an eye on copper. This is a nice little consolidating move here in this chart rally consolidating out here toward the trend it's banging its head against this resistance in the chart weakness in the dollar could make this move and break on through and we might be stretching up here for some of these highs in the chart and possibly even all-time highs if we can get enough energy going there in fcx so keep an eye on that scco would be another one in this beautiful resting consolidation in here um, something to watch pay attention to if we take a look at the energy sector um, xle you can see pushing back up it's possible this could be a higher low but i gotta tell you the way this is formed up in here i'm not overly excited with this just yet but it's worth keeping an eye on particularly if this were to rest right in here or break out and rest a little bit then i would have much more interest in it watch that carefully here in xle as it tests some of these resistance areas of the chart but having said that if we take a look at some of those energy sector stocks in in there in that list so lots of bullishness in here. Um, Halliburton starting to break down trends. We can just look through here. Stocks coming up out of bottoms trying to break through. Occidental trying to hold a higher low in here. So I would keep an eye on these. Once again, just not a huge amount of certainty that they're ready to just 
take off and fly just yet. Watch that carefully if they were to find a little bit of bearish action coming into those. Let's take a look at a couple that um, I'm watching pretty closely here. Um, Shell, Shell, nice little consolidating move here in that chart. Now we are slipping past the trend and you'll want to notice that we're up here nearing the all-time highs here in Shell. Look for that opportunity for that to potentially pop on through here if we can find that bullishness here in the chart. As you guys know, um, I've been mentioning IBM here for a while. Beautiful consolidating setup here. Made that nice little move and really popped hard on Friday. Popping right into this next area of resistance in the chart. Now this may be done for a little bit. This could rest, consolidate, or even pull back a little bit into there on such a big move on Friday. But if it can pop through this area up here, if it can pop through that resistance, then I would look for that rest to come in up above that area here in IWM showing lots and lots of strength. Other places, take a look at Google. Now Google has rested on Friday, pulled back, well Thursday and Friday, pulled back testing some support in the chart with this bullishness this morning. I wouldn't rule out the possibility that we could see a little bit of a push back up and maybe a stretch out here in that chart of Microsoft. My goodness, Microsoft had a, um, a rough couple of days here pulling back in the chart, but I'm seeing um, some upgrades uh, potentially occurring in here. Keep an eye on Microsoft if we can hold a support area right in here. Look for that next opportunity, maybe for that to push on higher in the charts. Um, AMD quite the run to the upside that's resting against this resistance in the chart now the question is can we find the energy to push on through today might be the day with this celebration but watch this carefully if we rest in here then we find that resumption of the upside trend when we finally push on through and push out so watch that closely take a look at NetApp NetApp you guys know I talked about and talked about and talked about finally made its move popped through that resistance here in the chart now we've rested pulled back we might be finding a little bit of price support in here if that can hold this area right in here I'd like I'd watch for that next opportunity if that can push on through to the upside. If we see that bearishness come in and we drop down below this support, well, that that's a different story and I'd be a little bit concerned about that. Um, take a look at some of the miners here. Um, if we just look at like GDX, my goodness, GDX, quite the run to the upside. If you look across here, we've got some all-time highs that could still be made in here. We've got to get through some additional resistance areas in the chart, but what a run in some of these mining stocks. Uh, GDX, GDXJ, um, also showing incredible bullishness as these miners continue to surge to the upside. So watch those closely here for additional pushing. Um, a little rest, a little consolidation sets up that opportunity. If we look at things in uh, individually, take a look at uh, like Newmont Mining, nice strong move to the upside. Uh, Barry Gold, big strong move there. Um, if we take a look, PAAS, um, really strong. KGC, very strong. So keep an eye on these oil sector stocks continuing to show lots and lots of strength and I would watch them pretty darn closely. Um, so with that everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Once again, I want to caution everyone on this big gap up. It is an emotional move this morning. Watch carefully for that potential of that whipsaw. Just just give it a beat um, as the market opens. Don't just jump straight into the market. Um, I've done that before and really ended up at the end of the day regretting it. So uh, be kind of careful. Take a breath. Watch carefully to make sure we can follow through to the upside before you chase in to a big gap up like this. Wishing you all the best. Thank you so much. And I will see you right back here. 
bright and early Tuesday morning. Have an awesome day, everyone.